Hi, I'm Kevin Cook. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Treasury Spring, a London-based financial technology company that helps our clients to reduce risk on their excess cash investments through our unique fixed-term fund platform. I'm going to be spending a few minutes today talking to you about that platform and why fixed-term funds are a better alternative to term deposits. So I'm going to start by showing you a chart of the aggregate cash holdings of the five largest US tech companies. You can see there are five bars here, uh, ranging from A to E. Uh, with A uh, representing a little bit more than 50% of those cash holdings and E representing all the way down to 1% of those cash holdings. Now, whenever I ask treasurers what they expect A to be and what they expect E to be, the answer is normally that A will be deposits and E will be government bonds. Actually, the reverse is true. So more than 50% of, of the cash holdings of these tech companies are held in government bonds and only a tiny amount in deposits. And if I flip through to complete the picture, what you can see here is that money market funds, C, which are typically the second most popular tool that we see most treasurers using, are again a relatively small percentage, less than 10% of the cash holdings of these large tech giants. So why the discrepancy? Why is it that the cash holdings of these large companies don't look an awful lot like the cash holdings of the majority of companies? I guess there's a few reasons. The, the main reason is that these major corporations are able to run their treasury teams in the same way that a large bank or asset management treasury would run. Uh, they're largely unconstrained from a budget and resource perspective with large front, middle and back office teams and lots of financial infrastructure. In our experience, that's very much not the case with the majority of treasurers, even large non-financial treasury teams, um, which typically operate with small groups, limited budgets and very little financial infrastructure. I guess if we go back a step, you know, why in the first place would uh, these large companies or any, indeed any treasury use government holdings as the bedrock of a cash investment strategy? Well, in all of our conversations with corporates, pretty much everybody states that return of capital is the primary driver for their cash investment strategy, not the return on capital. So given that that's the case, and particularly looking at the world that we live in today, with the volatility, uncertainty, market stress around, we'd expect that to be more true than ever. And in that case, well, government debt offers the closest thing that you can get to a risk-free investment in your functional currency. You know, if you're not a bank, you don't have access to the central bank. So the lowest risk thing you can do in your home currency is access government debt, as evidenced by the fact that no developed world government has defaulted on its debts since the end of the Second World War. I guess once I've taken my government debt piece, what would I do from there? In our world, we'd always deal uh, on a secured basis in terms of our lending to the banking institutions, not an unsecured basis, as you find with term deposit. Why? Well, because taking collateral dramatically reduces your credit risk. In our personal lives, we're intimately familiar with this. Anytime we make a purchase of a large scale, whether that be a house or a car or what have you, the bank doesn't lend to us unsecured. It takes collateral over that loan. Yet, when most corporations lend to banks, they do it on an unsecured basis through the deposit market even when those amounts are running into the hundreds of millions of dollars. Interestingly, banks only generally lend to each other on a secured basis. You don't find billions of dollars of unsecured exposure from bank to bank. What you do find is trillions of dollars of secured exposure through the reverse repo market. Why? Because if their repo counterparty defaults, they've got a pool of collateral that they can sell in order to recoup the amounts that are owed to them, leading to much, much higher recovery rates on secured debt, typically twice as much or more as you get from unsecured debt and the ability to recover those funds much more quickly. So why did we build our fixed term fund platform? Simply put, it's to enable all firms to invest their excess cash holdings in the same way as the largest, most sophisticated treasury teams in the world without the need to put in place any of the financial, operational or risk management infrastructure that has historically been the case. So I'll provide a quick summary of fixed term funds just before we look at the platform in detail. Uh, a fixed term fund or FTF operates exactly the same way as a term deposit or notice account, so always for a term or for a notice period. Each fixed term fund offers exposure to a particular issuer for a fixed term, so you get to pick your exact underlying counterparty the same way as you would if you're placing a term deposit, ranging from terms from two days to two years. And clients can purchase one or multiple fixed term funds through the platform at any point in time. On the platform, you'll see a menu of fixed term funds across our three core verticals being the government space, the secured bank or reverse repo space, and the corporate space, always with the underlying institution being of a high credit quality. And every fixed term fund that we issue is 100% maturity matched with an underlying instrument of the same term. So our clients are never exposed to the run risk which typically exists in a money market fund or other similar vehicles. So now I'm just gonna run through a quick demonstration of how to use the platform, starting with how you sign up and onboard. So login is via our website, 
single sign-on uh, via one-time passcode, Google or Microsoft. We use Google, so that's what I'll show here. Once you've got that, you'll come to a pre-populated master subscription agreement, which we will have pulled together from all of the publicly available information, client information that's been provided to us prior to the date on uh, the client of the client looking at this. Um, you can see it's a smart form, so ultimately only the information that is needed for your particular type of organization is provided. Uh, and then you can come in, complete further information, um, provide details that we can't know, such as source of funds, source of wealth, bank account details, uh, which can be put in, in multiple different currencies, uh, all done online. Uh, and then once that's completed, a client can scroll down to the bottom, uh, tick next, and that will send off all of that information directly to our uh, fund administrator for the KYC and AML process to be completed. Um, typically that process in our case can be done as quickly as 48 hours or um, a little bit longer sometimes if the holding structures are more complicated. But in all cases, much, much simpler than signing up to a new bank account. And also important to point out that when you're on board to our platform, you only do so once, and that gives you access to all of the products that we've got on the platform today, as well as everything that we bring on in the future. So unlike uh, opening a new bank account every single time, in our case, just one onboarding gets you access to everything. So once a client's onboarded to the platform, they can log in to purchase fixed term funds. They can do so on behalf of multiple entities if multiple entities have been onboarded within the group. And they can place fixed term fund subscriptions in multiple currencies, so sterling, dollars, and euro. Also, investment guidelines kind of been coded into the platform in advance. So whilst they might be a client might be able to see all fixed term funds, they might only be able to purchase fixed term funds that fall within their company's treasury policy or investment guidelines. Uh, within those guidelines, clients are able to pull information on particular fixed term funds and then also filter the available universe by whatever their characteristics they're looking for. So in this case, looking for a fixed term fund in dollars of 90 days or less with an indicative yield of at least 30 basis points. Pulls up the subscription form where clients only have to make two choices. One, how much do they want to subscribe for? And two, what action do they want to take on maturity? So typically this is split between two options. One being for those funds to be redeemed or returned immediately back to the account from which they were sent on the maturity date. If it's set to redeem, no further action needed on behalf of the client, just for the funds to come straight back. Uh, the other one, which is what's used most frequently by our clients, is to auto-roll that fixed-term fund subscription. Um, and that means that two business days prior to the maturity date, they'll get a notification that says, you're going to be automatically rolled into a new fixed-term fund, and if they do nothing, that roll will happen automatically. So here we're just seeing the subscription instruction form that will have been fired off once the client had placed the subscription. Uh, this will go out either to the back office, if that's what needs to happen in order for funds to be moved, or if the client's got approval processes in place, then for the full audit trail, you'd see at the bottom here, not only was it who it was signed by, including the time, IP address and user agents used, but also then who it was approved by. Uh, once uh, the transaction's been approved, then we will aggregate up orders on the cutoff time, uh, place the underlying transactions into the market and issue the fixed term funds to our clients. Once I've purchased my fixed term fund, I want to look in my portfolio holdings page and see where that fixed term fund is and where it fits into the rest of my portfolio. So as you can see here, you can filter in many different ways by currency, by entity, by maturity date, by value. Um, and that enables a client to easily find the fixed term fund that they're looking for. So in this case, you can see they found the fixed term fund. We know it was set to auto roll. If a client wants to change that decision, they just come in, click that button and it enables them to uh, switch it to redeem and then the funds will automatically be returned straight back to the bank account they were sent from on the maturity day. If, on the other hand, I don't want to make a full decision to redeem something, but I'd like to partially redeem it, I have the option of coming in and splitting my holding. So in this case, I'm splitting one seven and a half million holding into two smaller holdings, one of four million and one of three and a half. All I have to do to do that is click submit. That then gives me two new fixed term funds that I can then choose to say, one, I'd like to set to automatically roll, and the other one, I'd like the money to be redeemed out straight into my account. So that's it, how to manage your fixed term fund portfolio, fairly straightforward and intuitive. So now we've looked briefly at why some of the largest corporations in the world, financial institutions in the world, manage their cash differently to the rest of the treasury community. We've looked at the reasons why that happens, and we've looked at how fixed term funds can enable clients to manage their cash in the same way as those largest, most sophisticated institutions, enabling them to minimize and truly diversify risk on cash holdings. So just in summary, fixed-term funds allow our clients to access government, secured bank, and investment-grade corporate exposures 
to enable clients to truly diversify. There's no infrastructure requirement in order to onboard to the platform. And one single digital onboarding process provides access to everything that we have on the platform today, as, everything that, as well as everything that we onboard in the future. Each fixed term fund offers exposure to a single counterparty for a fixed term at a fixed rate. We've got an ever growing product universe and we can integrate the platform into your existing reporting systems. Thanks very much for listening. Hope to speak to you soon. Cheers.